Molten salt batteries are a class of battery that uses molten salts as an electrolyte and offers both a high energy density and a high power density. Traditional non-rechargeable thermal batteries can be stored in their solid state at room temperature for long periods of time before being activated by heating. Rechargeable liquid metal batteries are used for electric vehicles and potentially also for grid energy storage, to balance out intermittent renewable power sources such as solar panels and wind turbines. History Thermal batteries originated during World War II when German scientist Georg Otto Erb developed the first practical cells using a salt mixture as an electrolyte. Erb developed batteries for military applications, including the V-1 flying bomb and the V-2 rocket, and artillery fusing systems. None of these batteries entered field use during the war. Afterwards, Erb was interrogated by British intelligence. His work was reported in The Theory and Practice of Thermal Cells. This information was subsequently passed on to the United States Ordnance Development Division of the National Bureau of Standards. When the technology reached the United States in 1946, it was immediately applied to replacing the troublesome liquid-based systems that had previously been used to power artillery proximity fuses. They were used for ordnance applications e.g., proximity fuses since World War II and later in nuclear weapons. The same technology was studied by Argonne National Laboratories and other researchers in the 1980s for use in electric vehicles. Topic: <laughs> Thermal batteries, non-rechargeable. Topic: <laughs> Technologies. Thermal batteries use an electrolyte that is solid and inactive at ambient temperatures. They can be stored indefinitely over 50 years yet provide full power in an instant when required. Once activated, they provide a burst of high power for a short period a few tens of seconds to 60 minutes or more, with output ranging from watts to kilowatts. The high power is due to the high ionic conductivity of the molten salt, which is three orders of magnitude or more greater than that of the sulfuric acid in a lead acid car battery. One design uses a fuse strip, containing barium chromate and powdered zirconium metal in a ceramic paper along the edge of the heat pellets to initiate burning. The fuse strip is typically fired by an electrical igniter or squib by application of electric current. Another design uses a central hole in the middle of the battery stack, into which the high-energy electrical igniter fires a mixture of hot gases and incandescent particles. This allows much faster activation times tens of milliseconds versus hundreds of milliseconds for the edge strip design. Battery activation can be accomplished by a percussion primer, similar to a shotgun shell. The heat source should be gasless. The standard heat source typically consists of mixtures of iron powder and potassium perchlorate in weight ratios of 88 twelfths, 86 fourteenths, or 84 sixteenths. The higher the potassium perchlorate level, the higher the heat output nominally 200, 259, and 297 cal per gram respectively. This property of unactivated storage has the double benefit of avoiding deterioration of the active materials during storage and eliminating capacity loss due to self-discharge until the battery is activated. In the 1980s lithium alloy anodes replaced calcium or magnesium anodes, with cathodes of calcium chromate, vanadium or tungsten oxides. Lithium silicon alloys are favored over the earlier lithium aluminium alloys. 
The corresponding cathode for use with the lithium alloy anodes is mainly iron disulfide pyrite replaced by cobalt disulfide for high power applications. The electrolyte is normally a eutectic mixture of lithium chloride and potassium chloride. More recently, other lower melting, eutectic electrolytes based on lithium bromide, potassium bromide, and lithium chloride or lithium fluoride have also been used to provide longer operational lifetimes, they are also better conductors. The so-called all-lithium Electrolyte based on lithium chloride, lithium bromide, and lithium fluoride no potassium salts is also used for high power applications, because of its high ionic conductivity. A radioisotope thermal generator, such as in the form of pellets of 90 SRTO4, can be used for long-term delivery of heat for the battery after activation, keeping it in a molten state. Topic. Uses Thermal batteries are used almost exclusively for military applications, notably for guided missiles. They are the primary power source for many missiles such as the AIM-9 Sidewinder, MIM-104 Patriot, BGM-71 TOW, BGM-109 Tomahawk and others. In these batteries the electrolyte is immobilized when molten by a special grade of magnesium oxide that holds it in place by capillary action. This powdered mixture is pressed into pellets to form a separator between the anode and cathode of each cell in the battery stack. As long as the electrolyte salt is solid, the battery is inert and remains inactive. Each cell also contains a pyrotechnic heat source, which is used to heat the cell to the typical operating temperature of 400 to 550 degrees Celsius. Topic. Rechargeable configurations Since the mid-1960s much development work has been undertaken on rechargeable batteries using sodium for the negative electrodes. Sodium is attractive because of its high reduction potential of minus 2.71 volts, low weight, non-toxic nature, relative abundance, availability and low cost. In order to construct practical batteries, the sodium must be in liquid form. The melting point of sodium is 98 degrees Celsius 208 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that sodium-based batteries operate at high temperatures between 400 and 700 degrees Celsius 750 and 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, with newer designs running at temperatures between 245 and 350 degrees Celsius 470 and 660 degrees Fahrenheit. Topic. Sodium sulfur The sodium sulfur battery, NAS battery along with the related lithium sulfur battery employs cheap and abundant electrode materials. It was the first alkali metal commercial battery. It used liquid sulfur for the positive electrode and a ceramic tube of beta-alumina solid electrolyte base. Insulator corrosion was a problem because they gradually became conductive, and the self-discharge rate increased. Because of their high specific power, NAS batteries have been proposed for space applications. A NAS battery for space use was successfully tested on the Space Shuttle mission STS-87 in 1997, but the batteries have not been used operationally in space. NAS batteries have been proposed for use in the high temperature environment of Venus. Topic: Sodium nickel chloride Zebra battery. A lower temperature variant of NAS batteries was the development of the Zebra originally. Zeolite Battery Research Africa. Later, the 
zero emissions batteries research activity. Battery in 1985, originally developed for electric vehicle applications. The battery uses NaL Cl4 with Na plus beta alumina ceramic electrolyte. The Na NiCl2 battery operates at 245 degrees Celsius (473 degrees Fahrenheit) and uses molten sodium tetrachloroaluminate NaL Cl4, which has a melting point of 157 degrees Celsius (315 degrees Fahrenheit) as the electrolyte. The negative electrode is molten sodium. The positive electrode is nickel in the discharged state and nickel chloride in the charged state. Because nickel and nickel chloride are nearly insoluble in neutral and basic melts, contact is allowed, providing little resistance to charge transfer. Since both NaL Cl4 and Na are liquid at the operating temperature, a sodium conducting beta alumina ceramic is used to separate the liquid sodium from the molten NaL Cl4. The primary elements used in the manufacture of these batteries have much higher worldwide reserves and annual production than lithium. It was invented in 1985 by the Zeolite Battery Research Africa Project Zebra Group at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR in Pretoria, South Africa. It can be assembled in the discharged state using sodium chloride, AL, nickel and iron powder. The positive electrode is composed mostly of materials in the solid state, which reduces the likelihood of corrosion, improving safety. Its specific energy is 90 watt-hours per kilogram, specific power is 150 with kilogram. The beta alumina solid ceramic is unreactive to sodium metal and sodium aluminum chloride. Lifetimes of over 1,500 cycles and five years have been demonstrated with full-sized batteries, and over 3,000 cycles and eight years with 10 and 20 cell modules. For comparison, LifePO4 lithium iron phosphate batteries store 90 to 110 watt hours per kilogram, and the more common LiQu2 lithium ion batteries store 150 to 200 watt hours per kilogram. A nano-lithium titanate battery stores 72 watt-hours per kilogram and can provide power of 760 with kilogram. The Zebra's liquid electrolyte freezes at 157 degrees Celsius (315 degrees Fahrenheit) and the normal operating temperature range is 270 to 350 degrees Celsius (520 to 660 degrees Fahrenheit). Adding iron to the cell increases its power response. Zebra batteries are currently manufactured by FIAMM Sonic and are used in the Modec electric van, the Iveco Daily 3.5 ton delivery vehicle, the prototype Smart Ed, and the THNK City. In 2011, the U.S. Postal Service began testing all electric delivery vans, one powered by a Zebra battery. In 2010, General Electric announced a NA NiCl2 battery that it called a sodium metal halide battery, with a 20 year lifetime. Its cathode structure consists of a conductive nickel network, molten salt electrolyte, metal current collector, carbon felt electrolyte reservoir and the active sodium metal halide salts. In 2015, the company abandoned the project. Sumitomo developed a battery using a salt that is molten at 61 degrees Celsius (142 degrees Fahrenheit), far lower than sodium-based batteries, and operational at 90 degrees Celsius (194 degrees Fahrenheit). It offers energy densities as high as 290 watt-hours per liter and 224 watt-hours per kilogram and charge discharge rates of 1C with a lifetime of 100 1000 charge cycles. The battery employs only non-flammable materials and neither ignites on contact with air nor risks thermal runaway. This eliminates waste heat storage or fire and explosion-proof equipment, and allows closer cell packing. 
the company claimed that the battery required half the volume of lithium-ion batteries and one quarter that of sodium-sulfur batteries. The cell used a nickel cathode and a glassy carbon anode. In 2014, researchers identified a liquid sodium cesium alloy that operates at 50 degrees Celsius (122 degrees Fahrenheit) and produced 420 milliampere hours per gram. The new material was able to fully coat or wet the electrolyte. After 100 charge discharge cycles, a test battery maintained about 97% of its initial storage capacity. The lower operating temperature allowed the use of a less expensive polymer external casing instead of steel, offsetting some of the increased cost of cesium. When not in use, Na NiCl2 batteries are typically kept molten and ready for use because if allowed to solidify, they typically take 12 hours to reheat and charge. This reheating time varies depending on the battery pack temperature and power available for reheating. After shutdown a fully charged battery pack loses enough energy to cool and solidify in 3 to 4 days. Topic liquid metal batteries Professor Donald Sadaway at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has pioneered the research of liquid metal rechargeable batteries. Both magnesium antimony and more recently lead antimony were used in experiments at MIT. The electrode and electrolyte layers are heated until they are liquid and self-segregate due to density and immiscibility. They may have longer lifetimes than conventional batteries, as the electrodes go through a cycle of creation and destruction during the charge-discharge cycle, which makes them immune to degradation affecting conventional battery electrodes. The technology was proposed in 2009 based on magnesium and antimony separated by a molten salt. Magnesium was chosen as the negative electrode for its low cost and low solubility in the molten salt electrolyte. Antimony was selected as the positive electrode due to its low cost and higher anticipated discharge voltage. In 2011, the researchers demonstrated a cell with a lithium anode and a lead antimony cathode, which had higher ionic conductivity and lower melting points 350 to 430 degrees Celsius. The drawback of the Li chemistry is higher cost. A Li, leaf plus lithium chloride plus Li per petabit SB cell with about 0.9 volts open circuit potential operating at 450 degrees Celsius had electroactive material costs of $100 per kilowatt hour and $100 per kilowatt and a projected 25 year lifetime. Its discharge power at 1.1 a per square centimeter is only 44% and 88% at 0.14 a per square centimeter. Experimental data shows 69% storage efficiency, with good storage capacity over 1,000 milliamp hours per square centimeter, low leakage. In 2010, the Liquid Metal Battery Corporation (LMBC) was formed to commercialize the liquid metal battery technology invented at MIT. LMBC was renamed Ambry in 2012. The name Ambry is derived from Cambridge, Massachusetts, where the company is headquartered and where MIT is located. In 2012 and 2014, Ambry received $40 million in funding from Bill Gates, Kosla Ventures, Total SA, and GVB. In September 2015, Ambry announced a layoff pushing back commercial sales, but announced a return to the battery business with a redesigned battery in 2016. A recent innovation is the PBBI alloy which enables a very low melting point lithium-based battery. It uses a molten salt electrolyte based on LICL Li and operates at 410 degrees Celsius. Topic. See also Primary cell Secondary cell Smart grid Flow battery 
List of battery types